What's up hackers? In this video, I'll be going over how to add custom value types to cheat engines so you can use my cheats once and for all. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do to make sure we're all starting from the same point is to go inside your cheat engine folder and then find the CE reg reset file. So run that. That will reset your cheat engine settings just so we're all beginning from square one. Okay, go ahead and open up cheat engine. It'll probably ask you if you want to try the tutorial, just say no. All right. Now just go ahead and select any process Okay, now under value type, right click and go to define new custom value type auto assemble. Okay, in this window that comes up, you can just wipe everything in it. Just control A, delete. And so I'll include links to all the different types. So let's add the first one, two byte big Indian. So you'll just come in here to the first one, control A, copy everything. Go back to cheat engine. Paste it in. Click OK. And there you go, one down. Now you just do the same thing for the rest. Right click, define new custom value type. You can wipe everything in there. Copy that. Nope. Paste it in. Grab everything here. Paste it in the new one. All right, now you got four by Big Indian. You'll do the same thing for float. Now my cheat table doesn't use all of these, but it does use two byte and four byte and some other semi um, cheat tables do use float so this will cover all your bases again we're just deleting everything when we start a new one paste it in boom float so now we've got two byte, four byte, and float big Indian. Now you can close it, and when you reopen it, you'll see that they are now included. Just select any process, doesn't matter. All right, so now they're included every time. So you should be good to go. Even if um, it pops up with an error message saying it needs to run the script whenever you open my cheat table. Um, you can just say no, because these are already included now. And probably in future cheat tables, I'll, I'll just remove that embedded value types altogether. So you won't see any errors. You'll be good to go here. And one thing I like to do, if you're planning to do any scanning, go into settings and then go into your scan settings and just make sure mem mapped memory is set so this is good for um, emulator scanning so just just a quick pro tip for you so you, that should be good and now you shouldn't have any more problems all right thanks for watching guys bye